put all your bolts in, the torque at 85 to 95 to 90 foot pounds, and this head is replaced. The top head and the reverse discharge, you loosen it all up, you lift it up. In this case, the valve plate is loose already. And when you do this, you see the back of the head, you take your gasket on the replacement when you're doing it. And it's very important when you're replacing the gasket to make sure the gasket goes against the head before it goes on the body. So you align it once you're ready to, to set it up. You line it up, then you put it down on the body, you put your bolt in, two to six foot pounds, and then you, you replace your valve plate. And on a compressor that has a reverse, a forward discharge, all this remains the same. The head is molded the opposite way to have the discharge here. You can't take a reverse discharge and turn the head. It won't work. You have to get a separate head. After this is all done, you torque this down, 85 to 90 foot pounds, and you're ready to start the compressor once you get it set up for the system.